A work trip to Pittsburgh this week. The first stop I made was a GameStop, and I've now joined the Elden Ring Club. I'm showing this one first because I'm gonna go throw it in my PS5 now, and while it's loading, I'll show you the rest of my pickups. Totally got busted on this one by Mrs. Dude. Walmart exclusive came while I was on my road trip to Pittsburgh. I'm grateful it's in a box because I've seen the condition of all my buddies' figures that have been shipped in bubble mailers. It looks like everybody's got destroyed. This box definitely got beat to shred. I mean, look at that, dude. So I'm a little concerned about what's inside. Hopefully it has bubble wrap. Well, we got a little bit of bubble wrap on the side, so that's much better than what I'm seeing from everyone else. Really looking forward to this figure. Doctor Strange. In spite of the beat up box, both these figures look to be in awesome condition. Praise the toy gods. Man, I really appreciate getting three different Doctor Strange face sculpts. New cape with Aya Agamotto. Looks like a newish body, new hands, staff, axe, magic effects beautiful art on the side of the box and then there's the back of the box if you want to take a look during my work trip in pittsburgh this week i was able to get in some toy hunting stopped into a target right across from my hotel and saw these three figures staring at me and i knew i must honor the toy gods by purchasing them first up is the clown joker from the batman three jokers comic then i looked behind him and found batgirl and the criminal joker. As a longtime Hasbro collector, I am not used to finding figures I'm looking for in stores. First up is the criminal joker in his all purple suit, comes with a cane. Sweet picture of him on the back of the box. I think what I'm gonna do is once I get this whole wave, I'm gonna open them all up together and do a stack ranking. I've only opened one McFarlane figure so far and I was blown away by hazmat suit Batman. And I'm really impressed with the face sculpt and suit on this figure. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it stands and poses and compare it to my experiences with Hasbro products. Right behind him was the Clown Joker. This one's even better, man. He comes with a carrot and a crowbar. Dude, check out that maniacal look on his face. Really appreciate the flower and then the juxtaposition of his suit compared to the stoic all purple Joker. I mean, he looks great on the back of the box. Dude, if I could pose him in motion like that, it's gonna be fantastic. And no Batcave can be complete without Batgirl. I really love this iteration of Batgirl from the three Jokers. The silver and yellow on her Bat outfit look amazing. With her dark red crimson flowing hair in the background, comes with a yellow Batarang and a grappling hook. As someone who's been in a long-term dysfunctional relationship with Hasbro, it is awesome finding these figures and them having accessories, plus a stand and a card. You know, when I build my bad cave, I think I'm gonna hang her swinging like this if I can. First target, I did stop at a Walmart and felt like I had to shower by the time I left that place. Then we went to a second target. I needed these two figures to complete a wave and they were sitting right on the shelf. First up is Batman. First up, man, if I could pull it out. First up is Batman from the Three Jokers. And then one of my favorite DC figures other than Batman, the Red Hood. So this Red Hood comes with a crowbar and metallic chrome mask. I'm really smitten over the juxtaposition of the metallic chrome mask and red bodysuit with his jacket. I was absolutely delighted to find this in the second. And I just heard that beep from my phone. It was UPS dude delivering a package, just beating Mrs. Dude home. I don't even remember where I was, but I'm really excited to have the Red Hood and very appreciative that it only took two targets to find this figure. I am so excited to take pictures and put him in my forthcoming Bat Cave. And then the one figure that you absolutely needed from the Three Jokers wave is this Batman. I love the classic light gray with gold and black combination. Also comes with a grappling hook. And I'm really interested to see how he poses and articulates in comparison to the hazmat suit Batman. Oh, dude, he looks amazing on the back of the box. So please subscribe to see the forthcoming video where I am building a bat cave in the office nerdery. I know I'm in the honeymoon phase with McFarlane, but I'm really stoked that it only took me two target stops to find this entire wave, and they were $20 a piece. In addition to the wave of five, I also grabbed the three Jokers hardcover comic book. <laughs> Look at those three maniacal jokers. Holy cow, dude. I'm really, really excited to open this up and get to read it on my work trip next week. Next up is this big, heavy box from Amazon. 
Ooh, there's some bubble wrap. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, vegan protein cookies. These are actually really tasty and a good meal supplement. We got a second box of the vegan protein cookies, but wait, what is this magical box? It is a totally unplanned purchase, but when you see a two pack for $30 on Amazon and you get Batman versus Azrael Batman armor, how do you pass it up? Especially when it comes with a big flame stand underneath it. You have a sword for Azrael, two swords for Batman, and check out the Azrael sculpt. Dude, that is next level, man. That might be just as cool as the hazmat armor one. Batman sculpt there looks really cool, and I think it's gonna be a neat variant to add to the forthcoming Batcave. But I'm gonna be honest, man. This was all bought for the flame effects, the swords, and the Azrael figure for $30. Could you really pass this up? Check out how cool they look in combat with the flames flowing underneath them. It's gonna be an epic addition to the forthcoming Bad Cave. Please subscribe if you'd like to see me building it. These the toy gods. Finally, the last figure from this wave. My daughter chauffeured me around toy hunting today while we were practicing driving. Finally, after weeks and weeks of searching, we finally have the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness figure. I really appreciate the hands on the effects, although now they're getting reused quite a bit. Maybe they could change the color or do something with them, but I'm super stoked to check out the new body sculpt, faces, and compare it to some other Stranges. Please subscribe to The Nerdery as I'm going to unbox this entire wave and rank them one through eight, including Rintra Build-A-Figure. Here's the last box of the week. Before I open this, I'm gonna ask you to consider this question. Would you rather have the two things that come in this box for $25 or pick out one Hasbro action figure? All right, there's, it's from Amazon and there's some bubble wrap. That's pretty cool. First thing out of the box, Batman. Last Night on Earth, hardcover comic book. 180 pages of glorious dark night. Big thanks to Dave's Dimension for pointing this out to me that it was $12.50 on Amazon. Check out Batman from the last night on Earth. It does come with the Bane Build-A-Figure. I don't have anything else from this wave, but man, look at that head sculpt. And he's got Joker's head in a carrying case. Is so different and unique than any of the others I have. He is gonna make a most glorious addition to the Batcave. So again, I ask you, for $25, would you like this 180 page hardback cover book and the Batman from the last night on earth or one Hasbro action figure. Praise the toy gods. The nerdery added 11 new figures and two hardback comic books this week. I found six figures in store, five were McFarlane, three Jokers figures, and finally tracked down the multiverse of madness strange completing the wave. Batman vs. Asriel 2-pack with flame effects was an absolute steal for $30 and the toy gods were most kind to me with the Hellmart exclusive Doctor Strange's arriving in good condition. Dude, I also think picking up the Last Night on Earth comic and Batman figure for the same price as a Hasbro figure was an amazing deal. Please let me know in the comments below which figure you think was the best pickup from this week. And remember to honor the toy gods by subscribing to the Nerder. Stay safe and healthy, everyone.